Uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. We had a great, great summer as a team, and so uh, I'm ready to kick off season. So. What have you personally been working on this offseason? Uh, I think a lot. Just finishing around the rim. Honestly, everything. Finishing around the rim and uh, just ball handling. And we're a guard-heavy team, so going to need some ball handlers. And, um, yeah, so things like that. So this Columbia City team, you know, a lot of progress last year. Yeah, um, yeah, we had a good season last year, and I think we're going to carry that. We carried the momentum into the summer, and I think we're going to carry it into this season. With uh, we got a lot of juniors stepping up this year from JV, so um, we should be good, and hopefully we can go far in sectionals this year. So. Uh, I, big thing is is defense. I think we're gonna. Our identity this year is going to be defense and pushing it, pushing the floor in transition. And uh, I think just setting an example on defense and kind of being a dog on defense. So there you go. Yep. Uh, so as you look at the NBA overall, you know, it feels a little bit more wide open this year. It feels like you guys are going to be in the mix, uh, just like last year. You know, where do you feel like you guys can uh, fit in the mix? Uh, I mean, I I think we can be be top of the NBA for sure. Um, Norwell is definitely going to be really good this year, and. Um, even though Leo lost a lot of guys, they're still going to be good. Um, any eight's tough, so hopefully we can. I think we're going to be at the top of the any eight. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, we've had a great off season. Uh, we've built a bond this summer and fall that um, we're just all really excited to get going this, this winter. What have you been working on this off season to improve the game? I think just getting stronger, getting in the weight room, uh, be more athletic, um, and then being able to shoot the three ball um, has been big for me this this summer and off season. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to be able to push it a lot in transition, uh, shoot a lot of threes, um, and just create mismatches and make other teams guard us out on the perimeter a lot. Yeah, I think we all know that we're capable of winning the NEA this year, um, being on top. So um, just going into those conference games, we just got to be ready and um, just kind of no scouting reports um, and just be ready to go. How do you try to set an example of being a leader for this year's team? I think that's a big thing that uh, we focused on this offseason. Um, some of our seniors just setting examples, not just on, on the court, but off the court too, and um, just getting going after it in practice every day. We'll just get better. Very excited. Again, ha having it be my third year, obviously these guys have been around. It's um, not as much teaching as much. I mean, we have some, some drills and things, of course, that we still uh, teach and put in, but they kind of know what we expect, know what we want as a coaching staff. and. Um, I think this senior group, the two guys that you just talked to, uh, are great leaders, uh, put us in position to win basketball games, and uh, part of that's because we have great practices every day, and that's because of the little guys and, and what they do to prepare themselves and pre uh, prepare the other ones around them um, before practice. You saw a lot of success last year, you know, really in the thick of the NEA title chase, made to the sectional semifinal round. How do you carry that momentum forward? Yeah, I think obviously we don't want to be satisfied with with what we did last year. We were very excited about it and and uh, thankful for the good times that we had and, and the games that we uh, were able to pull away with a, with a win. But um, again, these guys are hungry. We have some younger guys who haven't had much varsity experience who are hungry to to get on the court and compete with these older guys. And um, yeah, I think they're excited and, and, and ready to prove people wrong again. I think people know that we graduated quite a bit um, and, and we're going to miss those seniors definitely. But I think these guys are ready to. Um, Prove some more people wrong. I was going to say, who are some of the younger folks you hope can step into those roles for the seniors that graduate? Yes, yeah, so we have a, a solid uh, junior group. They played JV for a couple years. One of those is Cam Hogue, um, junior, Brady Hartman, uh, Aiden Denning, and Stratton Fuller, who's having a great football season this year. You guys probably had some highlights of him, um, but he's also good on, on the basketball floor, too. So we're excited for those guys. Awesome. So uh, just uh, looking ahead to this season, you know, where do you feel like you place those expectations? Yeah, really, you know, kind of my message each day is we want to get better every day. And I think that's going to help us lead us to uh, better practices. I think it's going to help us lead us to more wins. Um, you know, I think that's that's the big thing for us. We don't look, you know, forward. Uh, obviously, we want to be any eight champions. We want to cut down some nets at the end of the year. Uh, but that takes getting better every day and having that mentality. Um, I think we have a group that does that, like I mentioned earlier. Um, again, yeah, they're hungry. I'm hungry to, to get back on the court and get ready to go.